but I digress. Um, there's so much in the quantum space that allows you to uh, start from nothing. There's books on it, there's textbooks. Uh, the one that really worked for me because I came from an information theory background was Mark Wilde's book on From Classical to Quantum Shannon Theory. Again, I came from an information theory background because of my data science background, and that really helped me. A lot of other books, but there's several professors at Cornell and Yale who have really good uh, introductory textbooks to quantum mechanics, and those are helpful. Uh, I spoke to one of them about it saying that it's written, some of them are written to the point that anyone who hasn't had any chemistry or any quantum physics, or any physics background can start from the ground and go. There's always resources to go as long as you keep asking questions, as long as you keep being quantum curious. I couldn't have said it better. Well, I don't think we could have said it better ourselves. That's right. Awesome. Uh, we definitely will talk to your professor because that, that there's our new, <laughs> there's our new tagline, Candice. Uh, and I'm glad you mentioned asking questions, right? And, and, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a definitely a field where I don't think anyone really knows exactly. Like, is it Richard Feynman had said the famous quote, like, if you think you understand quantum computing or quantum physics, you don't understand quantum physics, right? Like, and the, and he was a pretty smart guy, right? Like, he was among, uh, I think he was on the Manhattan Project at one point, like as a kid or whatever, or pretty early in his career. 